so what's going on here with this welder it is an SA250 and I saw lots of stuff I looked on on the internet and for some reason nobody talking about the field excitation on this machine this particular one uses AC off of the windings and then rectifies it and sends it out as DC to the actual welder field. And if you know, most common place that goes bad is going to be this diode that's back here. We just started putting in the new one. I haven't uh, hooked up the last two. These two wires are for the AC input. The positive is going to be one that's marked positive or has a slightly different tur uh, turned terminal or a clip on the corner. The old one that came off of here was positioned differently, but the terminal that was up on it was the positive. It was marked positive, and something to note very well with this, and I went to the diagrams and uh, saw this. Uh, the one on the top that's marked positive coming out of the windings inside the welder where it feeds to is black wire. The one that goes to the negative output of the diode is the red wire. So this is backwards from what you would normally think, but it actually matches with the factory Lincoln wiring diagrams that I looked at. Um, so that's something you should keep in mind <laughs> when you're troubleshooting one of these. That's your most common problem. Another place where you would have problems is in these uh, contact switches, which I'll probably take and just wire brush them a little bit. It's uh, best if you just keep your welder out of the rain i know nobody does i never have and uh, things just get crudded this particular style of of uh, the welding leads here i've seen this many times the insulation just from age starts bubbling up and going away and that's something tom will have to deal with later i i don't feel like fixing it and i don't feel like charging him for it um because he can do that himself and I normally don't work on welders. I used to. One of my past lives, I spent a year, a little over a year, at a welding shop repairing all their welders and brought a whole bunch of them that were broken out from the back and uh, put them back online. And then actually after I went to work up north at Red Dog Mine in the Hard Rock Mine, which is how I afforded to buy the shop, because Red Dog Mine paid pretty well, I uh, continued to work at Greer doing uh, welder repair because they'd been nice to me and every now and then somebody talks me into a friend fixing one of their welders for them and I really don't like working on them and fixing them anymore but uh, Tom's a decent friend so we're doing this and since I couldn't find anything else about the wiring on the diodes um, that was explanatory in video I thought well let's throw one up and there we go yep